In nuclear engineering, fissile material is material capable of sustaining a nuclear fission chain reaction. By definition, fissile material can sustain a chain reaction with neutrons of any energy. The predominant neutron energy may be typified by either slow neutrons or fast neutrons. Fissile material can be used to fuel thermal neutron reactors, fast neutron reactors and nuclear explosives. Fissile versus fissionable. According to the fissile rule, for a heavy element with 90 Z100, its isotopes with 2 times Z minus N equals 43 plus or minus 2, with few exceptions, a fissile. Fissile is distinct from fissionable, a nuclide capable of undergoing fission after capturing a high energy neutron is referred to as fissionable. A fissionable nuclide that can be induced to fission with low energy thermal neutrons with a high probability is referred to as fissile. Quote, Although the terms were formerly synonymous, fissionable materials include also those that can be fissioned only with high-energy neutrons. As a result, fissile materials are a subset of fissionable materials. Uranium-235 fissions with low-energy thermal neutrons because the binding energy resulting from the absorption of a neutron is greater than the critical energy required for fission, therefore uranium Uranium-235 is a fissile material. By contrast, the binding energy released by uranium-238 absorbing a thermal neutron is less than the critical energy, so the neutron must possess additional energy for fission to be possible. Consequently, uranium-238 is a fissionable material but not a fissile material. An alternative definition defines fissile nuclei as those nuclides that can be made to undergo nuclear fission and also produce neutrons from such fission that can sustain a nuclear chain reaction in the correct setting. Under this definition, the only nuclides that are fissionable are those nuclides that can be made to undergo nuclear fission but produce insufficient neutrons in either energy or number to sustain a nuclear chain reaction. As such, while all fissile isotopes are fissionable, not all fissionable isotopes are fissile. In the arms control context, particularly in proposals for a fissile material cut-off treaty, the term fissile is often used to describe materials that can be used in the fission primary of a nuclear weapon. These are materials that sustain an explosive fast nuclear fission chain reaction. Under all definitions above, uranium-238 is fissionable, but because it cannot sustain a neutron chain reaction, it is not fissile. Neutrons produced by fission of 238U have lower energies than the original neutron, usually below 1 MeV. The fission threshold to cause subsequent fission of 238U. So fission of 238U does not sustain a nuclear chain reaction. Fast fission of 238U in the secondary stage of a nuclear weapon contributes greatly to yield and to fallout. The fast fission of 238U also makes a significant contribution to the power output of some fast neutron reactors. Fissile nuclides. In general, most actinide isotopes with an odd neutron number are fissile. Most nuclear fuels have an odd atomic mass number and an even atomic number Z. This implies an odd number of neutrons. Isotopes with an odd number of neutrons gain an extra 1 to 2 MeV of energy from absorbing an extra neutron. For the pairing effect which favors even numbers of both neutrons and protons, this energy is enough to supply the needed extra energy for fission by slow and neutrons, which is important for making fissionable isotopes also fissile. More generally, nuclides with an even number of protons and an even number of neutrons, and located near a well-known curve in nuclear physics of atomic number versus atomic mass number are more stable. 
stable than others, hence, they are less likely to undergo fission. They are more likely to ignore the neutron and let it go on its way, or else to absorb the neutron but without gaining enough energy from the process to deform the nucleus enough for it to fission. These even even isotopes are also less likely to undergo spontaneous fission, and they also have relatively much longer partial half-lives for alpha or beta decay. Examples of these isotopes are uranium-238 and thorium-232. On the other hand, nuclei with an odd number of protons and an odd number of neutrons are usually short-lived because they readily decay by beta particle emission to their isobars with an even number of protons and an even number of neutrons becoming much more stable. The physical basis for this phenomenon also comes from the pairing effect in nuclear binding energy, but this time from both proton-proton and neutron-neutron pairing. The relatively short half-life of such odd-odd heavy isotopes means that they are not available in quantity and are highly radioactive. Nuclear fuel to be a useful fuel for nuclear fission chain reactions, the material must be in the region of the binding energy curve where a fission chain reaction is possible. Have a high probability of fission on neutron capture. Release two or more neutrons on average per neutron capture. Have a reasonably long half-life. Be available in suitable quantities. Fissile nuclides in nuclear fuels include uranium-235 which occurs in natural uranium and enriched uranium, plutonium-239 bred from uranium-238 by neutron capture, plutonium-241 bred from plutonium-240 by neutron capture. The 240 who comes from 239 by the same process. Uranium-233 bred from thorium-232 by neutron capture. Fissile nuclides do not have a 100% chance of undergoing fission on absorption of a neutron. The chance is dependent on the nuclide as well as neutron energy. For low and medium energy neutrons, the neutron capture cross-sections for fission, the cross-section for neutron capture with emission of a gamma ray, and the percentage of non-fissions are in the table at right.